Oh, right. This time I'm supposed to put in my favorite time ever. Which, like, I don't know. <laughs> we. Eh? <laughs> I don't have opinions about a favorite time. Ah, 12.34 a.m., your favorite time of day. Which is, which is the middle of the night. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. No, I didn't. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 12.34 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. What? <laughs> how accurate is 12.34 a.m.? Accurate to inaccurate on a slider. Pretty inaccurate. I don't know how you'd quantify this. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's a, it's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've got we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm. Perhaps I could invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whoop up a couple new ones. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. You're being very optimistic about how many sessions someone takes to spend this game. I'm wondering how many of, the, of, the, of these they are. I admittedly only do like a couple episodes at a time, a lot of the time as schedule, but I think a lot of people might binge this more and also not take as long to sit around and talk. Hello. Get me. So what are we going to do today, Stanley? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Figure finders. Like the collectible? Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. It is really funny to me that I apparently collected the uh, cosmetics permanently and immediately. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Should I be a good boy today and see what happens? How can we find them? Ooh. There will be a reward for finding them all. <laughs> or will there? Small floating objects have been appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from time from management. How can you tell you spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? 416. Thank you. Good luck. Quotes pointing at head. What? Well, I can't go backwards. <laughs> Is there a collectibles ending? Maybe we are the collectibles. Shut the frick up. To whom am I concerned? I managed to pick out... I managed to pick up unusual sounds. Sounds unusual to our regular office ambi ambiences or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also known as directional mic, a microphone which picks up sound from a particular area. Analysis of the recording, that's what I'm using, I think. Uh, recording, uh, analysis of the recordings allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Data shows that, in all likelihood, it's coming from a dark area behind a very warm place. I also picked up what looks like a re reverberances off of porcelain services? Anyone have any leads on this? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, it sounds like a bathroom. Source of levitation. Why is his nose so big? Employee 421 is building a bridge. That must be the bridge then, right? Do we need contacts for contracts for them? An NDA? Potential liability? What do they want? Our data, stock options, money. We make them... employees? <laughs> Interns? 
Why do they look like 427? Am I 427, Stanley? You're floating. Our quarterly success? How many are there? Six. Can we sell them? Obviously. <laughs> what we know, what we don't know yet, what we forgot, and bonus stuff? Why won't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, TBH. Trust the completionist instinct. <laughs> oh my god. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct a bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor? Construct a new structurally sound bridge. Oh no. One of them died? What? Where is that? Oh, does it say- does that say no bucket? Like you have to not bring the bucket? Mission status. Places to search. Inside of a sequel exhibit. Oh, th oh, that's just actually my progress. Okay. So we got that one. The check mark appears to be glitched out. Because it's like weird colored. It looks like they're supposed to be green. They're freaking out. A large room with lots of boxes. That's the warehouse one. I've seen that one. Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Some are both red and blue. The red and blue room. Nearby a fireplace. That's the hot one, I guess. A private but smelly place for an important person? Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. This became a whole thing. There will be reward. Lies! Stop kidding yourself! There will be cleaning of this wall required. Is somebody fucking spray painted on the wall? Ten steps to a successful workplace investigation. That looks too hard to read. They, they printed private mugs? Beware the false prophet. I'd say collecting is sexy. They spilled. It feels like they're run like they almost like they ran away right when I got here to dis to not get seen by me. The way that they're just gone. Well. Didn't think I'd be walking into this. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. <laughs> but alas, no stickers. If I had any more stickers, we'd be here for hours. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. The executive bathroom. Oh, there's the stinky place for an important person. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stanlerine. Beware the boss knows that. Beware the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, lyrical at first. What a disgusting mirror. Clean this shit up. Extreme bathrooms. It's just that old... That's that old rule that... Even though, I think this is unity now, but... Just that old rule, like, all source engine mirrors have to be disgusting. Well, didn't expect to immediately find one, but we did. Well, I kind of suspected they said it was for an important person. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. 
At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. No, every time. Stanley just sat around twiddling, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket Whoa. knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Good bucket. Friend bucket. Weird dark space bucket. There we go. Down we go. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I love you too, Bucket. I don't like Stanley what that thing that just did, though. Ahead through the large door that read we mind control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. He looks so close to being able to fall off of these spaces. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. That just means it has a leak, which would make it a useless bucket, and then it have to be bucket euthanized. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. We're having a very important conversation today about buckets and consent. The bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. It's a worrying conclusion. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Five. 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 Ooh, made a new sound. <laughs> I don't think he cares. There's also a button up there. Is that eight? Wait, do you press the buttons in order? You do, don't you? One and two. Can't see that one. Three. Hmm. 
Where's four? What number is up there? Open. Please. Oh wait, let me check my notes. <clears throat> I've written down 0344 and 2845. Oh, I wanted to set the clock to that at the beginning earlier and I didn't. But anyway, neither of those are numbers I can put in right now, so... That's probably not it. I don't see a 4. Oop, there goes the journal. One. Two. Two. Three. 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 I'm at the stage where I'm like, maybe press them the number of times that is the number there. Five. Three. Four, five. How do I get up there? The door is closed. Help. Numbers in here. Is there a clue? Is this a thing? What do you want from me? Why don't you just let me in? It's so dark in here. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's even a real puzzle or what. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the Bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the silly birds. I'm the bird Stanley catcher now. Through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Even's face so long. I like the bird ending. The bird ending's my favorite. Yeah, I am 427. Uh, shit, what was it? Was it 416? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did they say that I need to trust 416's information? The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Shit, I don't know. 
I should have written it down. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Uh -huh. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Bee, I'm gonna die. This is dangerous. Four out of six. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I mean, Figlies is definitely funnier. <gasps> an exit, an escape. All I need to do is jump. <laughs> well, I'm not even crouching. Oh! Oh. Big fall. Who's that? Who's that? Someone's good at doodling. Help, help, the striped shirt savage is tearing off my arm. Ow, beware the referee of pain. The fuck? <laughs> That's illegible. I'm so confused. He's is a clown between the two doors. Are we being meta? Is this meta right now? Am I gonna read a book while burning the previous pages of the same book in order to read the next page of that book? Narrator di- oh god, it's all of his dialogue and cassettes. What have I done? Okay, this is day number 295, date number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? Who's there? Weren't expecting a cosmic horror ending, were you? But there All of is. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What if I leave the bucket behind? Do I get bucket withdrawals? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But <laughs> eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Uh, yeet. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Rude. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Ooh. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Well, it's getting talkative, isn't it? Where are the remaining collectibles game? How do I go in there again? Help me. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I'm starting to worry that I'm going to, like, start running out of places to go next. Well, never mind. The bucket was wrong. I'm trying to remember what the really weird ones were. Because I remember I remember some really weird endings happening, but I'm trying like, but I don't remember exactly how they worked. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. And Bye. he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Or did I? No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? <laughs> I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, ah. step in here for a moment. Well, that's a terrifying room. Was well, this the bucket tutorial? Or do you just kill me and replace me with a smarter protagonist? <laughs> is this now a then, bucket? I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and oh you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? I this should tell off. us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. You. Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Wait, wait, wait. How is a printed bucket not a bucket? I see how a hologram is only, like, conceptually a bucket, but is this a, bucket? a 3D printed bucket is a bucket. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Item 4. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an yeah. enormous machine that tills the earth. I yeah. thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. It buckets the earth. Duh. Don't you even know? <laughs> Is this a bucket? 
Correct. This is a bucket. No, no further explanation. You. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? Schrodinger's bucket? Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Are they just going on a track? It's a bucket. Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything It's here. a bucket. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket. It's a bucket. We both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore... It's a bucket. It could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? It's a bucket. Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Answering you straight is going to be a problem. <laughs> you know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. In this video essay, I will. But now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I'm losing myself, and myself was In the music, the moment head. you want it, you better never let it go. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No. Okay. Here we go. No. No! Is everything gone? Everything, everything bucket! Wait, was everything a bucket? Everything's Every a bucket! Thing was a bucket. <laughs> oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. I liked you better when I thought you were a bucket. <laughs>